Hey, hi, hello. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna turn into the wonderful, creative, talented, amazing, my favorite YouTuber, one of my all-time favorite YouTubers ever, forever, Miss Jenna Marbles. I've been a fan of Jenna Marbles since her first viral video went viral and everybody knew about it. And I've loved and respect even her recent videos of her doing a mukbang, but just of her mouth, turning into a disco ball, making a dog bed for her dog that loves Irish spring soap, but making the dog bed out of said soap. She is just so hilarious, just her personality in general, and she has great ideas. Jenna, if you need me to come and turn you into something crazy, I'm down. But today I thought I would turn into her, and not only her, we're gonna have her dogs all featured on our chest. Of course I'm not naked, you guys know this. I have allergy rashes that may gross out people, but I swear to you they're just rashes because I'm allergic to the world and food just like Jenna's boyfriend Julian. And my skin falls apart from it. But we are going to turn into Jenna. I'm gonna have like Kermit Marbles trying to put as many dogs on my chest as I can. So let's get started. Today's video is gonna be weird. We're starting at one in the morning and I feel like it's gonna take five hours or more. Not kidding, no joke. What is my life? And I'm not naked. I do have a tube top on because I'm doing body painting. So I didn't want to wear clothes right here to cover up. Tube top's about to snap. <laughs> to cover up said shoulders. So how we're gonna go about this video, we are gonna put a wig cap on first and we're gonna do the body painting first because I know how to transform my face and nose to look like other people, but I don't know how the chest painting of different dogs, how they're gonna look like and turn out. So we're gonna start off with the chest painting mural. So here we go. Let's put the wig cap on. I even reserved, <laughs> reserved, like I have more than one, um, a beanie, because Jenna Marbles wears beanies. I wish I had a choker. I don't have a choker because I have a deathly fear of things that are too tight on my neck. Now, once we snap all these devices in our head to get the hair out of the way and to put our rat tail bird's nest of a head in a wig cap, we are gonna start with this, I swear. We're gonna flash the YouTubes and be on a whole nother type of channel, but. Let's start painting said doggies. We're gonna start with marbles first because we're gonna go down the line of all of the dogs. How they first came into this precious woman's life. Fun fact, before I started makeup on YouTube, I, my friends, did paintings of people. Not just any paintings and, and drawings of people, but I made them out of their favorite things or thing that represented them. So I made Jenna Marbles in marble out of my dog's paw print stamps because I'm a crazy person. This is going to be marble. These doggies are going to be small since I'm doing all of them on my body. Okay, I did the white aqua paint. Just do the light marks and then we're going to go in with the black aqua paint and stamp in his little details of his precious nose. I miss having a dog so bad. I feel like I would have a lot less panic attacks if I had a dog, but I'm not allowed to have a dog to, unless I move out. All her dogs have their own unique, beautiful personalities. And when you paint them on the body, they all have a similar head face shape, just different sizes. I should have done marbles last because he's the smallest. We could just squeeze him on in there. He needs a more bulbous head, that chihuahua head. I used to have a chihuahua. She unfortunately passed away from old age. She lived a fabulous life of being anxious and shaking a lot. Her name was Sandy. She was my angel. Fun fact, last year I was hired to uh, do a Halloween makeup gig with a giant company and I had to turn people's who own pets, I had to turn those people, the owners of the pets, into their pets. If I remember, I'll put that link down below so you can see. We need a detail brush to do the highlight marks on his wet, cute, adorable nose and on his eyes. You know how chihuahuas have those big eyes that look like they're about to cry and semi-break your heart in one second? That's what we need with little white droplets. They're just so precious. 
I feel like someone's asking me to paint the Mona Lisa with toothpick toothpicks. I don't want to mess up someone's precious pet's face <laughs> with my rendition of it. All right, friends. <laughs> my favorite of the dogs is Mr. Kermit. Now Kermit's coloring is gonna be hard because Kermit is gray. But Kermit's hints of gray with light brown. I remember watching the video when she got Kermit. Oh my gosh, it was so adorable. Let me see head compared to marbles. His ears gonna tuck behind marbles. This is like a jigsaw piece. What did I get myself into? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna paint a turtleneck on him. Kermit is like, not just a regular dog. Kermit feels like to me, like it's uh, his own spirit, wise spirit that teaches us to be calm. I sound crazy. Let's put a blue turtleneck on Kermit. Kermit deserves a turtleneck. My sweet little dog, she loved turtlenecks. Old man turtlenecks, she was a female, but she loved usually the traditional male color in old grandpa knitted doggy sweaters because they are warmer. <laughs> what I love about Kermit is he always looks so innocent and like he just dipped his nose in milk. All right, now that we have his creepy looking eyes with no eyelids or fur around it right now, I'm gonna get some brown aqua paint and paint some fur and some eyebrows to give dogs expression because dog lashes and brows are like amazing out of this world. I need to move and get a dog. Kermit's snout and like his little wrinkly cheeks are just adorable. I just want to pinch him through the screen. My favorite gray and black eyeshadows to use is the Creepy Cute palette from Strobe Cosmetics. It's like the perfect shadows for body painting. Do you do something so weird of a makeup and painting on yourself that you don't know if it's good or not? <laughs> now that uh, Kermit looks like he's a black eyed ch child. <laughs> You believe in that because I do. <laughs> um, I need to put some white little specks of life <laughs> into his pupils before he creeps me out and I have nightmares. There we go. That's a, that's a little too. There. Again, dogs that look like they're about to cry. That's that's the ticket, man. I'm then gonna get a very thin, 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 tiny, thin, skinny queen brush with some black aqua paint and start painting in the marks around their faces to... If you heard the critiques in my brain, it sounds like those old men from the Muppets. Does anyone remember that Muppet 3D show they took out of um, California Adventure here in California? Man, my soul cried. That was literally me. Miss Peach, okay. I wanna start off with this color, but I feel like it's the same tone as my skin. So I'm gonna mix some browns with that. So Peachy was Jenna's boyfriend, Julian's doge. Now we need that white uncle paint to paint in Peachy's neck. Peach also has some white here and a pure white, beautiful decolleté doggy neck. Very like more straight color blocking of fur compared to the other dogs. I like how I'm doing such big areas of white paint with the tiniest brush in the planet. <laughs> Jenna, I'm going all out. I don't play when it comes to your children. I want to make them look cute. Some black for the beautiful dog wet, gorgeous nose. Dog nose? Why are dog noses so wet yet we aren't frightened by them? Like we don't question the wetness of the dog nose. This is actually a lot of fun painting dogs on my body. Now Peach's eyes are the angle that of the reference picture I'm using. Did, could I choose something more complicated? Why do I do this to myself? Hey friends. Peach looks like on a good one right now. I feel like I'm doing a paint by numbers on another planet in Area 51 of dogs. Watch we go, they go to Area 51 and it's just like another breeds of hidden dogs that the CIA is trying to uh, make into whispers to try to spy on the enemies. Peach looks like the fox and the hound right now, like that fox. Maybe if I outline her, she'll look more like a dog instead of a fox. <laughs> Getting happy, my friends. She needs life in her eyes, Peach. She needs a little white dot that looks like you're crying. Only this eye has it though. All right, she needs just, just 
a little something else. Taking strawberry milk tinted eyeshadow and just patting that lightly on her fur. I feel like Bob Ross, happy little color. Leave me a comment if you want me to turn into Bob Ross because I could do that for you, my friends. There you go, Paige. I wonder if for Halloween they're gonna dress them up as Peach and then Bunny could be Daisy and then Mario and Luigi. I think that'd be adorable. Do they have dog costumes like that? I like how I'm planning Jenna Marble's entire life and she's probably thinks I'm crazy. You're never gonna watch this. Uh, Hi, ma'am, what do you do for a living? Uh, I paint dogs on my chest. God, she's adorable. Oh, she's so cute. Okay, let's move on to Bunny. Oh my gosh, I picked out the most derpy face. Her nose is gonna be like right over here. Like I'm talking right there, really long. Hi, uh, my calling is painting dogs on my channel. If I had late night infomercials for my channels, my channel, it would be uh Hi, and welcome to Cats Emporium. We'll paint you your pet on, on our chest for you live on video. Deceased or not, hamsters and gerbils and Lizards and iguanas. Oh yeah, I put this dog ear right on her eye. I swear, I think of my brain. After this, I'm gonna just be barking. She's getting places. If Kermit doesn't like this video, I'm just gonna stop my career. Can you see all the children? Yeah. Now let's turn to Jenna. All right, to turn to Jenna, I'm gonna need some eyebrow covers. Because my eyebrows uh, don't suit Jenna Marbles. Getting powder puff, you guys know the drill. To flatten down eyebrows, I use glue stick and powder. I do about three or four layers of glue and powder. You could do as many as you want, depending on how thick your brow hairs are. It takes about four for mine, because I've got not a lot of brow hairs, but really thick ones. All right, now that our eyebrows are flattened, I'm gonna start off with by building a brand new nose with some spirit gum. And I'm gonna use some Ben Nye Nose and Scar Wax. You have to be really careful with this and not get the spirit gum in your eye and use some lotion on your hands to handle that scar wax. Some fancy lotion, that has no scent or anything so that we could handle this nose and scar wax. Yeah, just stab in it, get little bits and pieces so we could build Jenna's nose. So I have a little Asian girl nose and she has a more straight, slimmer nose than I do. If the nose and scar wax is sticking to your hand, you need to put more lotion on. She's getting a botched nose job, sis. We don't want that. We want a perfect, smooth nose like Jenna has. All right, once you think you have the right amount of clay and shape, everything for this nose, we are gonna get some flexible sealer and just apply that to our nose and all the areas where the clay is. Make sure you don't get this in your mouth or eyes because what this is gonna do is give a barrier so that you can paint on top of this. Okay, now that the sealer is on and dry, she's good to go. I'm gonna get some primer because I don't want Jenna to have some crusty, dusty, not prime, not smooth face of a canvas for our foundation to lay on because Queen deserves better. She deserves the best. Now it's time for the foundation. We're getting the CoverGirl Outlast Day Fabulous 3-in-1 foundation that I use for a lot of character makeups because it's me to fill coverage. And we're going to get a foundation brush to really pack her on there. Oh, it feels so weird to put this on the fake nose. Foundation them ears. Get in a bit of under sponge and just tap it in the foundation to really get some smoothness in there. Alrighty. Now for concealer. We need to cover up anything that resembles the old me. I'm using the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer because it's just like the Tarte Shape Tape but for a fraction of the price. We really need to get here. Now we're going back in with our foundation brush. This is one of my favorite foundation brushes from Wet n Wild. Their chrome collection. It is so, so, so good. Alrighty then, we're gonna get the best under eye setting powder, which is the Tarte Shape Tape Powder. This stuff is magic because what it does is it brightens up that under eye. We're not gonna powder the rest of the face yet because I might put more cream down. Speaking of creams, we're gonna get our highlight cream from Graft Hill Beyond and just put it on the high point of our face. Blim, blim, blim. And on the tip of our nose and the bridge of it. 
And I'm also going to put this highlight cream on my chin because she has a much... She was equipped with a more oval shape face. All right, contour. What we need is the cream of contours from our palette. And we're just going to contour her face to look skinny like Queen Jenna. And she has a much better higher the cheekbone. Gotta drop on those laugh lines. Just contouring the sides of the face. Gotta give her some life. Make her look not dead. I know we're not looking like Jenna yet. <laughs> oh, and she has this cute, adorable, I have a mole on my chin, but hers is right here. I'm gonna dip into my Poise Cosmetics multitasking creams to get them brows. Just pattern this down before I start the brows. Yee beach. We're trying, people. All right, I'm just gonna put these lashes on, but I'm going to cut some of them because my eyes are tiny. These are the more natural lashes I feel like that I own. These are so bad quality that they literally just busted. Like a chunk of the middle came out. Let me see if I could glue back together. Struggle bus is real right now. I'm never getting this. These are the Baddington lashes. It's terrible. Don't ever buy these. I knew right when I was putting them on my eye that these are good lashes. I don't have any natural looking lashes. I'm just putting some mascara on my bottom lashes and uppers. I'm just gonna get this Naturals Too Faced palette and smoke out some of this eye. She has a more deep set crease than I do. Oh, this stupid lash. All right, so for some reason, whenever I think of Jenna Marbles, I think she has like really bright platinum blonde hair, but maybe it's because I've been watching her for so long since the beginning of her career. She was blonde at first and started her career off as a blonde, but she has light brown hair, so I'm gonna get this wig. But come on, we gotta put a beanie on. This is the beanie I used when I turned into H3H3. I'm definitely feeling very Skater Boy Avril Lavigne-ish too, but I feel like Jenna would be totally down for that. And we need some contact lenses cause I have brown poop eyes and she don't. So I'm putting some gray lenses in. Hey beach. If you guys don't know who Jenna Marbles is, you should. You guys can subscribe for more beauty makeup videos, effects videos, celebrity transformation stuff like this two times a week on this channel. Also, leave a comment down below on what you guys would love to see. Any other celebrity transformations, Disney transformations. What other videos would you love to see from me? Thank you so much for watching and supporting this channel. I had so much fun doing this. I absolutely love doing this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Alright, let's do the crazies. <laughs> Taking this nose off. I feel like those crazy, like, Asian transformations. <laughs> That's a fake doses. Like honestly, I don't expect her to watch this video, but you guys are so supportive and wonderful. And uh, I just had fun being a fan and uh, recreating this as a challenge for me. If you guys don't know who Jenna Marbles is, wow. Um, well, this video was awkward. Just me turning to a random girl you don't know about, but you should check her out. Uh, she's been literally one of the best inspirations on YouTube. She's been like one of the most long running channels. I think she's been doing her YouTube since, I wanna say 2009, 2010 era, for a very long time. I look up to her so much because she's just herself and she's like genuinely funny. Uh, I've met her in person like at meet and greets a couple times, but never really like hung out with her of course. Uh, but this is just, Oh, I hate to put, oh, that's so sad. That breaks my heart. Oh, B, <laughs> these hurts. Oh, it doesn't physically hurt, just like my spirit. Hmm, <laughs> now the shower with all this junk on my nose. But thank you guys so much again for just watching and supporting this channel. Like I know I'm the weird, one on YouTube. I'm not like most of the beauty gurus, but uh, I appreciate it so much for you always watching, continuing to watch every week and subscribing. And I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video creators. Bye! Mwah.